Good evening. I'm the Maven of the Eventide. And I am along for the ride. And what's your name along for the ride? <laughs> the name you've chosen for me is just fine. My name's Paul. Hi. And Paul, why do you play this game with me? <laughs> I play it because I love I love vampires. Um, you can be sincere, you know. <laughs> if I was being sincere, I would say I'm being forced to against my will send help. You are playing this game with me because you are an expert gamer. <laughs> are you being serious? <laughs> okay, sure. Yes, I am gamer. I got RGBs all up in me. You can give yourself more credit. You know things. You know... <laughs> I, I know where the WSD keys are, and I know how I have a mouse hand. That's about it. I come at this game from a vampire lore RPG perspective, and you come at this game from a. I know how the I know how the clicky button part works. Yeah, you've done this sort of thing before. <laughs> and the reason I actually started this series was as a thank you to my Patreon patrons, as a special reward for them, because we reached a certain pledge goal on my Patreon, and. I said I would do it for as long as people seemed interested, and people still seem interested, so we're still doing it. Well, we gotta finish it. Finish I mean, the whole can, game? Well, you can't just... I mean, unless, okay, how about this? Unless the Patreon goal dips back below that threshold, then it's like, no, it's like, well, my, force my, them. my Patreon has been going down lately. Oh, oh, oh dear. So if Which, you guys want this to continue, <laughs> yeah, make those pledges now. I don't know if you knew, but Patreon's had a little bit of drama lately. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, the drama. Yeah, but, um, or maybe, you know, people just are a bit over vampires, or maybe it's the holiday season and people need to save some money. Either way, I'm very grateful to my Patreon patrons. I do these videos for you as long as you want them. When we're tired of Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines, maybe we'll play a different game. Maybe we'll play Vampire with a Y. Vampire. Yeah. Hawaii. Or there's another new vampire game coming out. Name escapes me right now, but... We've got options. Probably something to do with a like blood or plasma or platelets or something. So, uh, the last time we played, I told you that we got copyright claimed illegitimately on our previous play, and I had to hold it for 30 days. Well, guess what happened again? No, don't tell me that someone got greedy and stupid. So, if you've watched part eight of this series, um, that, that I actually recorded... A couple weeks ago. Or was it last week? What? Very recently. But you're not seeing it until 30 days from now. So we're kind of buffering these up. Yeah, but if you answered my questions from that game, I haven't seen them yet. So we are flying blind. God help this us. This time. Yeah, if you gave us very helpful advice last time, we have not seen it's it. It's all been forgotten. Yes. So what we're going to do now is go back downtown. Walking at a brisk pace. Can't even help yourself, can you? Uh, you made that joke last time. It wasn't funny then. It's not funny this time. Your titters disagree with you. It belies your amusement. Why don't you just sing the song? People love it when you sing, Paul. No, nah, it's like, that's pretty much the only... I only know, like, the first line. And that's about it. What about the Waluigi version? <laughs> what? Is there a Waluigi version? You haven't version? seen the Waluigi version of the no. downtown? Oh, I'll man. I can only imagine it's just like... Wah, 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 wah. Uh, why do they give me four options for this guy? I'm going places, right? Um, I'm pretty sure the top three are all the same thing. And then the bottom one is just like, no, let's wait. So we're going downtown to complete the quests that we started in Santa Monica. If this is a mistake, tell us now. Well, where else would we go? We, we can't go anywhere else. If we, we need finished. to go back to Santa Monica for anything because I think we've hit it all, according I, to well, what I Well, we're probably going to go back and finish up that whole murder on the pier quest thing. So to remind you, so we have to check in with Prince Lacroix, Lacroix, at the Venture Tower downtown. Um, someone told me that because we do have a mass grade violation. Uh, he's going to not give us a fancier apartment. Oh darn, the, the apartments that we never visit. Uh, we would have gotten a fancier apartment. 
Yeah, um, I want the true LA experience. Give me a crappy apartment. We're going to the Skyline Apartments, number 2A, residence of Mr. Milton, to see if we can follow up on Muddy Mike Durbin, because maybe we'll get some more money. We do want to stop by Fat Larry and buy some more clothes now that we have money. Okay. And then maybe now that we have more gun ammo, we can go back and finally defeat Brother Kanker in the sewers. I'm sure we'll be fine. So we've got a nice to-do list mm -hmm. for our vampire agenda, even though this is still the same night. We're going to die. Yeah. Okay, so if we go to the Skyline Apartments first, maybe we can earn back our masquerade point. I remember the guy that we want to talk to. Oh, yeah, that's probably back from when like we made everyone kill each other. Um, is that the same person of the night from Santa Monica? Is she back here now? I think they just shop at the same store. Okay. I think the guy who we bought things from the back of his van was around the church that you just passed, I think. Mm. Wasn't he? Like, if you went into the church or me. No, no, there he is. The guy in the yellow shirt straight ahead. That's him. Ma'am, there's something wrong with your dress physics. Should we tell her? Look at her cleavage. Nah. Got a Galapagos turtle. Say now, Wonder Girl. Seeing the kind of commando gear you been stocking up on, you ain't just using that stuff for keeping the neighbors away from your shit, is you? Does he know I'm a vampire? I just, he seems pretty oblivious. So? Wow, wow, wow. Uh, that's your business, okay? I just figured somebody with a shopping list like yours might be up for a little action, all, all right? Ooh, does he have a quest for me? I'm listening. Yo, I need a hardcore pimp killing Cleopatra Jones for a supersized skull. Straight up Foxy Pam Greer style. Still with me? I don't know if I'm that sexy, but I can try. Yo, here's what's going down. I got a tip that the Chinatown Tone and some local boys are meet down at the nearby parking garage to carry out a business deal. Now... I can't tell you what they is exchanging, but let's just say a certain client of mine is ready to drop some Uncle Sam size bucks to acquire what's in briefcase number one. You get it for me. I'ma not only give you a cut, but I roll out my special stock as well. Now how that sound? Special stock, you say? Maybe we should save our money. Yeah, I'll do it. Yeah, that's what I like to hear. Now. If you're the straight-out hard-boiled Terminator type, I'd suggest you buy some heavy firepower. But we are not the straight-out hard-boiled Terminator type. Can't you tell I'm a Toriador? <laughs> well, let's see what you got. Well, guns are right out because we're bad at that. Well, but we should buy our armor dress thing. Yeah, but he's got special stock. Should I save my money? No, this is we have lots of guns. We just need ammo for the guns we have and that. Heavy clothing. Three hundred dollars. I have six hundred seventeen. This is what we were saving up for. Yeah, I guess so. Heavy armor rating of one. And good, it'd be good to get out of that stupid t-shirt and jeans ensemble we've been wearing for so long. Do you think our character will actually look different on the screen? I think so. Alright. I've bought the heavy clothing. Hurrah. So can I sell my, like, old Yeah, let's clothing? sell that severed arm. Will they take that severed arm? I don't think he buys things. It's a shop. They all buy. They all buy things. Is this not worth anything? Oh, that's no We can sell it for zero. What about this tire iron I picked up? Sure. Ten bucks. Making our money back already. I'm not selling my fire axe. That is a pretty good fire axe. I will sell the silver ring. A Galapagos turtle? I want that. Larry, shut up about the turtle. Let's see, what is he got? He's got a gun. Well, see, what gun do I have? We have check we have the pistols out, and the shotgun, out. which I think is all we need. And they also have that giant, like ridiculous magnum, yo, 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 and then a um, cross fire eggs. crossbow thing. Maybe Diamond that's Brother Kanker's weak element Science or something. Maybe he's water type. <laughs> no, actually, I guess he's poison type, isn't he? What's 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 weak against? What's poison type weak against? Earth? Is this a Pokemon reference? It's pre it is, but I mean, this is not my fandom. Yeah, no, I stopped playing Pokemon back like the red and blue. Is there a vampire type Pokemon? There's ghost type, I think. But, I mean, who knows how many more types there are since 
my era. I'm sure I'm about to be reminded. So we could sell this pyro crossbow. No, don't sell the fiery crossbow of death. Why would you do such a thing? Okay, so should we sell our weak guns? Wait, how come a tire iron is worth ten dollars, but also like a Colt 47 is also worth ten dollars? Well, apparently these guns are crappy, but I'm not sure if we should sell them. What's his gun? As long as we have our shotgun, I'm happy. But we just don't have any ammunition for it. Should we buy one of these fancy guns? Okay. If we don't go up against Brother Kinker in this round, tell us, friends out there on Patreon and YouTube, which of these guns should I sell and which of these guns should I buy? Alright, so we got our clothes. Oh wait, let's zoom out and take a look. Please don't, have, please don't have, back up a little bit so you don't accidentally attack for uh, Larry. How do I zoom out? Um, just attack some. Hit the mouse button. Oh dear. Um, it's all right, Larry. It's fine. We were just looking at our clothes, but we're not wearing. Maybe we have to equip it or something. Mm hmm. Aha. Ah. All right, use. use. There we go. <gasps> My fancy jacket. Fancy F. Oh, look, I'm actually covered now. Look, I've got pants, I've got a jacket, I'm styling. Now we're a true Toreador. All right, I'm gonna see if I can Baby sell my girl. old clothes. Let me see the merchandise. Selling my half shirt. Ooh, $117. Wait, why is it red? We can't, well, we can't sell it. <gasps> Why not? That's not nice. Maybe he's just not in. Wait, maybe he would sell clothing, but he won't buy it. Maybe we can sell it at the pawn shop. Mm. We'll try so because that's hundred seventeen dollars. Side quest to Goodwill. Go. All right, I still want to go to the Skyline Apartments first, and then we can go to the parking garage and try to do Larry's quest, steal that briefcase, and then maybe we'll get our masquerade point back. Though I should eat someone. <laughs> would help. Oh, there's a parking garage. Should we do that first? I feel like we're going into a fight here. I need some blood first. Whoa. What, the, um, what was that? Wasn't, that? That's not normal. What was that? Wait, what happened last time we were here and like there was this giant like street brawl of weird of people? Maybe that's left over from that. You went right down that alleyway there. I'm still tripped out she followed you. The other right. I want to eat someone. Oh, I wanted to see what this fast, speedy man was all about. I need to eat down here. Can we eat the speedy man? I looked. He wasn't there. Mm -hmm. Pretty ladies. Can I eat this guy or is He's he too kind of in the open? shadow. I think I can, I think can get away with it. But you gotta get, like... Oh, no, he's fine. Thank you. All right, feeling good. Love you, Shadow Man. <laughs> Do you see the Skyline Apartments anywhere? Um, what's that say? Empire, Empire something? Empire Hotel. Oh, there they are. Oh. Mm, it Ooh, doesn't look as fancy. Blood on the door. That's a good sign. This must be us. Oh. Are we sure we haven't been here before? Because it looks like we have. Yes, we have been here before. Okay. Who are we visiting? It was A2 or something, wasn't it? Muddy Mike Durbin. Durbin Apartment 2A. 2A. See, isn't it so much better when we use the quest log? But there is, wait, it doesn't say Durbin, though. Well, yeah, he's just going there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Remember he left a message on What's Her Name's machine. Well, gotta give it to the crappy apartment building. Oh. I like their wood paneled elevator. Spacious. Probably fit a couch in there. Go. Oh, don't go up to four. That's not what I wanted. No, it's two. Okay, good. Two. Oh. One apartment per floor? Where's 2A? Uh, maybe there's only one. Eh. This doesn't seem right. Five. Ooh, five, I think so I can't do even it. if we buff ourselves, I think it's only four. 
Well, maybe we will find the key if we work hard enough. We're bad vampires. Yeah, Says, no, yeah, Milton's number two. Can we crack our way into the uh, employee's only door behind you? Maybe there's like a master janitor key or something. Maybe we can climb in through the air vents. Oh, <laughs> this door's open. Well, we, we've been here before. <laughs> oh, God. The carnage. All right, let's do here. Maybe we can find his storage Wait, room. apartments with storage units? This is amazing. Hey, LA's got it. This I've never had an apartment with a storage, like a facility. Can we climb in through the air vents? Uh, well, keep prowling around. There must be something in here somewhere. Not this particular room, but other rooms. With the slowest doors. Oh, okay. Someone set up shop down here. This is probably the security. Surveillance. We're watching you. All right, someone's got security cam set up in the toilets. Oops, sorry. There's your Mountain Dew. I wonder what room that is. I wonder, wonder if I can flip to 2A. What, are you see controlling if this? Muddy, yeah, I'm flipping it. How, how you can't tell what room you're in. No, There's no I can't. labels. This is rando. What's the other computer do? Can we hack our way into it? Hmm, apartment notes. Email. Oh. Oh, apartment God. Apartment two. Apartment two is all we care about. Sean Milton. He's a slob and he never really has chicks over. Some guy has been staying with him lately, so I haven't wanted to watch much. Wow, this guy's seriously homophobic. We have mm. one emails and no one clues. is in red. Do mm. control C that. A four. Oh. No, not quite. Uh, let's try. Oh, it's five. Dang, I don't think we can buff that either. Nope. Balls. Let's Wait see up. what the other apartment notes are. Oh yes. Let's get Maybe all the flavor be, text. Maybe it'll be apartment two. Gave his key to apartment one or something. Simon Milligan. He's on TV, so odds are footage of his place will be worth something eventually. I gotta keep an eye on him. Wow, this security guy is a pervert. Georgia Welch. This rich broad is pretty hot. Oh, and the password on her door is 9648, so maybe I'll sneak in there and steal some panties to auction off online. Hey, you want to sneak into her apartment? Didn't we already... I want to say that we did something like this. Or maybe it was a different apartment building. We snuck into... I don't know. Vacant. No reason to keep an eye on this one. Uh, yeah, a vacant apartment in L.A. Right. <laughs> Paul Anderson. I thought there was no reason to watch him, but then I caught him upstairs. I'll keep the tape rolling. Wait, oops. Oh. In so six. In six. Hannah Glazer. The gold mine. Something hot is always going on in here. And that something is usually Hannah herself. So. I want to password protect your computer, you perv. Nine six four eight. Can you remember that? Nope, but I'll try. Who would leave a pizza? Ooh, vent. Mm hmm. Uh, hey. Oops. Oh, maybe if I jump on the box and then jump up here. Deep, deep, deep. Hey, what's that other smaller bar next to your bar? What's this gray bar? I don't remember that. Mm -hmm. uh, I guess. Oh, that, oh, that's your stealth meter. That's right, because we never stealth. All right, so we're in on floor uh, one now. There's so we were in the basement. So I think this is one. a ground. No, no, we didn't. Did we get outside? We did. So yeah, that's we did. floor one. One. And this is floor two. Two. Why are we doing all this again? Oh, my head. Because we're trying to find Mr. Milton. <laughs> that sneaky walk. Do it again. <laughs> look at my look at my fancy shoes. <laughs> There's no way you're being sneaky with heels like that. Mm-hmm. Is this? Oh, no, this is three. We're in three. Oh, well, okay. well, I'll well poke around while we're here. No, I. Th is this the one we went to before that had the sick girl and? Yeah, oops. that's what I remember. Yeah. Oh well, down to two. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 
Hey, don't miss the ladder. That would, that would hurt. Yay! Here we go. Now yeah. the party can start. What are those, like, eight-track tapes on her counter? What is this? It's a car stereo. Do we want to steal it? Yeah. <sighs> There's a phone, Mr. Milton. Oh, she left it sparkling oh, again. Mel you know who this is, and I do hope you realize that we're still on for tonight. Meet me at the agreed-upon location across from the bar by the underpass. Across from the Bring bar by the underpass. Mr. Durbin, as it is a two-man job that I am proposing. With any luck, the two of you are already on your way, and I shall see you soon. Goodbye. This guy's super fancy. I shall see you soon. Well, I guess I could steal his car stereos. Mine now. Do you think we can go out the front door? Um, yeah, probably. Should we go up to the fourth floor with that number that we have? But I'm pretty sure that's the apartment that we already visited. Yeah, let's, let's do one qu distracted quest at a time. Let's go back down and check out those people going across the bar thing. The overpass. Yeah, the that's, the, that's the thing. Yeah. So is the bar the place where Jake is? Oh, Jake follows to LA. Jake. Jake the dog? Vampire? Jake the dog. Jack. Jake Jack. Jake Jack. Now I want Shake Shack. Thank you very much. Jake Jack. Shake Shack. Shake Shack? What's that hole? There's a hole over here. A hole? What is down here? Ooh, an alley. <laughs> we are so easily amused. An alley? And a hole. A drum. Oh, that a was fun. Is shortcut to something? Thanks. At least we'll make a note. Are any of those doors openable that were in there? They didn't appear to be. Uh. <laughs> Can you jump over him with your mighty vampire leaps? Should I just eat him? Well, that would take even longer. <laughs> Alright. Ah, uh, what did I just do? Um, uh, oh no, he's a sick bum! Oh dear. No, it's disease, disease blood. blood. Oh, are you vomiting? Yeah, I'm oh, just Oh, I thought there was like some blood. sort of weird like physics bug or something. I forgot the the plague is going on in this town. I probably shouldn't eat the homeless. Oh, did that cost you blood? Like all the blood you got? Then no, some? I got I guess everything that I had from him. What's this place? Nope, no, we're we're getting distracted. That's right. Overpass, overpass. Wait, now we're back here. Where's the bar? Oh, I know. I remember going towards this Lopera sign. Lopera. Pretty sure that was a Pokemon, too. Here we are. The Under last the overpass. round. So there's the bar. So it's supposed to be, yeah, like right there where the fire is, I imagine. Under the overpass. There's a dude. Oh. I used to be on Broadway, you know. I don't know one here. Across the street, maybe it's around here somewhere. Find somebody who doesn't look like a bum. Maybe, maybe in that door with the light above it. Maybe it looks like it's kind of it's pretty beckoning. Hmm. Your haven. Give me a break. Ooh, this place is mysterious. <gasps> That's not good. Well, that, that key card, that's good. All right, so is we should Mr. probably... Is that Mr. Muddy? Who's this guy? Nah, it's probably just a... No, it's somebody. Hello. <laughs> uh, the Headless Corpse, it's kind of hard to miss. He done tore him up, right in two, ripped him apart like a rag doll. Tell me what you saw. These two guys, the dead guy and the other, and the, they showed up... I've been living here, so I hid. I thought maybe they was owners or, or cops come to clean the place out. Who was the other guy? The dead feller called him Muddy. Oh, so Muddy's still alive. He's the one the bounty hunter is looking for. So, so the, the dead, dead guy, guy was Mr. Milton or whatever. Mm. And Muddy's still out there. Or the associate that Milton told Muddy to bring. Because uh, he was like, this no, is I think, a two-man job. Bring your associate. No, because it was Mr. Milton's apartment, and then he, then Muddy was just, like staying there. And it's like, okay, you come, and then you can bring that other guy with you, too. Okay, so whoever the guy on the phone was. Yeah. So he could be either of them. So this dead guy and Muddy, what were they doing here? Uh, they was waiting on someone. They were going to do some kind of job, they were saying. But the person they was meeting, well, he was late. So the one guy leaves to find the phone and call him, and the, and the dead guy stayed. Well, that's when the killer, that's when he showed up. Showed up? 
One second he wasn't there, and then he was. Like out of the shadows, he come up, scared the shit out of the dead guy. I liked to scream, but I couldn't breathe. Then what happened? Oh, that killer, he grew these claws. I Ooh. swear, and I saw it. The, the dead guy went white like he seen the devil, and then the killer grabbed him round the neck and lifted him up and started cursing at the guy. What did he say? Oh, I couldn't hear too good. Something about revenge for what he did or what they did. The killer made sure the dead guy knew who he was and then ripped him open. It just tore him apart. He did it real slow and made the guy scream. What about the other guy, Muddy? Did he come back? No, he never come back. All right, forget everything you saw here. Why would I want him to forget everything? I don't know, it's probably, probably merciful. Okay, well, let's try it. It also don't... helps the masquerade, I suppose. Oh, maybe I'll get my masquerade point back. Oh, that'd be nice. Okay, okay, I will. I don't want to ever think about that again. Yay. Yay! <laughs> Good thinking. We're helping. Yeah. Hmm. And we gotta get his key so card for whatever So he grew reason. claws. I wonder what that makes him. Is this his head? Like one of those, oh, oh, high head. Oh, we can pick it up. Oh, that's lovely. That's great. Put it in the... Oh, they put a basketball hoop there. You, you know you got What? Stuff. Oh, man. That's exactly why that's there. You know you're uh, probably getting like a bonus experience point if you sink it. <laughs> There's cheering. Really? You can't Aww. hear it because I'm wearing headphones. That's adorable. Oh, oops. I have tampered with a crime scene. Road race. All right, let's go up that ramp thing. Oh, man. So it's either like one of those Brother Canker type people or uh, Nosferatu. Don't miss this... E yeah, or maybe, um, you know. Ah, am I oh, on fire? Yeah, we're a vampire, though. We're fine. Ah, how do I get it off? See, this or postal, too, I know what to do. How do I get it off? You're fine. It extinguishes. Did that use up some of my blood? I think uh, it did. No, but some of your health bar is yellow. Oh, I forgot, I forget what that means. Oops. That's fine. Worth it for a shortcut. So I'm in a combat zone. Does that mean someone's going to attack me? Oh, uh, it's possible. Oh, another car stereo. Grab that. Wow, I'm just like racking up the car stereos. All and right. then this thing. Lucky, Lucky star. star room. Okay, so now if we're going to get ambushed, now is the time. Well. I, I still don't remember why we should care about this plot line. I'm sure it I'm sure it was brought up at some point and I just forgot. Can I jump so I don't have to get You're fine. You're a vampire. Again. You can do whatever you want. All right. I'm just going to jump. There you go. Oof. Should have eaten that guy. Oh, there's a rope. I could have climbed up. Oh, I keep seeing that rope, and I have flashbacks to Half Life, and I'm just like, no, don't stand on there. It's gonna suck you up and eat you. Oh wait, 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 wait. Look back. There's like a ladder up there too. It looks like you might be able to go further up. Hmm. But look, I can jump you? on these boxes too. Boy, there's lots of other ways we could have gone to not go into the fire. <laughs> huh? I could have not caught on fire. You know what? The more we try to platform, the more the fire seemed like a fine idea. Let's get out of here. Uh, we got the key card. Let's scram. <sighs> Making progress. All right, now we just got to find out the where the what was it the silver arms or whatever it was. What was that? What was the it? lucky with wow. two E's, wow, which makes was, me think it might be a Chinatown thing. That was way off. Wow, that's racist. I'm going with what I know about this game. <laughs> Let's see what the log says. You found the shredded body of Milton at an abandoned warehouse, but Durbin was nowhere to be found. You did find a key to the Lucky Star Motel, though. Oh, and I hope it's not in Chinatown, because that's like two levels away. You talk to a bum inside the abandoned warehouse, the scene of the latest grisly murder. The Maybe this was the same as the kind of murder that was happening on the pier. Maybe that's related to that Look quest. at this murder, just like that other murder. Are you singing Wildhorn Jekyll and Hyde? Yeah, because it's my least favorite lyric of that entire show. There's a lot of them. Oh, yeah, because remember the murder on the pier was about, like, some beast thing? So this is uh, the bum said, witness the killing, told you the killer grew claws and ripped the victim apart while oh, saying something about revenge. Oh, okay. Yeah. So maybe it's, okay, cool. So this is that ongoing beast quest. God, now I want to watch freaking Jekyll and Hyde. I want to hate watch Jekyll and Hyde now. Okay, yeah, back to our downtown quests. Walk fast. Fat Larry, businessman extraordinaire, wants you to acquire a briefcase being exchanged between the Tong and Luke gang. The exchange will take place in a nearby parking garage. So we can go to the parking garage, but now that we've got our masquerade point, let's go see La Croix. La Croix. All right, let's see. 
Let's go see La Croix no Adventure bombs. Tower. Yeah. I learned that lesson. And if we happen to pass by the Lucky Star, then... Great. Was the Lucky Star a hotel? Maybe it's this yeah. unmarked... What's this hotel of, over here to your right, which is now behind you? I feel like it would say Lucky Star, though, wouldn't it? I don't know. Maybe Lucky Star is just like one of those dingy, crappy hotels, which doesn't really bother with, you know, professional signage. What's that door to behind you now? 70's dead! Can I eat him? Is there anyone around? Don't. Just, just back off. Don't. Don't. Why? Okay. Oh, right out of his back. He does not seem to mind at all. 70's dad is a B.A. Alright. Didn't lose my masquerade point. Woo! Oh, yeah, there's a cool Tremere house. Where do we meet LaCroix? Is he in the gargoyle building? He's in, like, the fortune building. I think it's this one. Right where the cab dropped us off. Oh, should have known. So this is probably going to be one of those, um, safe places, whatever they call them, the sanctums or what have you. Elysiums. Elysium. Oh yeah, look, he's got a neon sign. Subtle. You, uh, look familiar, Missy. We haven't met before, have we? Oh, yeah, back in Santa Monica, right? Whew, I don't know what came over me back there, but now I got this sweet that night was earlier position the and same I'm night. happier than the time I met Superwitz. Ah, well, enough about my lucky break. You uh, here to see Wait, one of the big He's such a mouth breather. I don't even remember. Oh, well. sure. Yeah, I'm here to see LaCroix. Would that be Sebastian LaCroix of the LaCroix Foundation or Dwayne LaCroix of Insurrection Baby Formula Company? Uh... What do you think, genius? What's that? Well, that's me to say. It's like, it's a legitimate <laughs> question. I'm a Sebastian LaCroix. Uh, okay then. Mr. LaCroix, he told me to expect someone fitting your description sometime tonight. You go right on up. Uh, are you going to tell me what floor he's on or anything? Uh, I guess we just sort of, there's one direction up. I guess we'll figure it out. Have a good one. Have a good one. He was yeah, nice to uh, us. You have a good power meeting or uh, whatever it is you types do up there. Yeah, power you meeting. You need any security. So powerful well, you just in ring my the front desk heavy clothes. And ask for we need, if we need anything, we just That's call on me. Officer Chunk and he'll come, Chunk. he'll come wheezing. Thanks, Chunk. I'll remember that. Bye. Bye. I guess I have a friend in Mouth Breaver Chunk. So is this why it's the LaCroix building? Because all the people that work here are named LaCroix, <laughs> apparently? Which LaCroix would you like? Mango. Okay. Oh, God. You think this guy's into himself? Ugh, that font. I can't. Uh, uh, oh, Jesus. I'm penthouse, assuming probably. it's the penthouse. Yeah, where else would he be? He is the... Oh, wow. Insta LaCroix. Ooh, he's got a goon. That's the coconut LaCroix. No one likes it. Oh, look, he's got my favorite picture. Oh, look at all his awesome pictures. Wow, he's got style. I mean, where LaCroix is like, um, uh -huh. And he's not even a Torrier, he's a Ventru. There you are. I was <laughs> informed get off of your presence desk. in the building. <laughs> Since you're here, I'll take the liberty of assuming you've destroyed the warehouse. But you hadn't heard this yet? This is correct, yes? Thugs in the street heard and beat me up, and you haven't heard? Yes, that is... Uh, of course. Most excellent. I had no doubt you'd prove my decision a prudent one. I trust you encountered no impediments to your progress on account of my personnel. Ooh, do we sell out Mercurio? Mm, no, I'm too nice to sell out Mercurio. He seems. He says yes. Oh, great! You blew up the warehouse. That's great. He 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 doesn't. He seems pretty ruthless. I think he might actually appreciate a little, little honesty. Yeah, but what if he goes and kills Mercurio? That'll be on my conscience. What conscience? You're a vampire. But I'm a nice vampire. Remember? Are you? Are you? Are you though? Know. But also remember, um, I want to appease Nines Rodriguez, and he's mad that I'm sucking up to Lacroix. Oh yeah, yeah, we did make him mad, didn't we? Yeah, and I kind of want to get back on his good side because I liked him. He saved me. What has Lacroix ever done for me? Uh, well, this is sort of like he seems all business. It's like, no, nah, none at all. No, 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 none at all. Everything was great. That is yeah, the answer. Yeah, we won a point. You've done well. This is a telltale game. To be like, you will remember that. I will admit, not many in your position would have overcome such a trial. But don't misunderstand me. It was no fool's Are you end. Sure? You may yet prove to be a genuine asset. 
It's a bit disturbing, the lack of talent within this organization as of late. Tell me, what would you say to doing a bit of reconnaissance for me? Well, since I'm playing the double agent situation here, but everyone told me that he set me up to fail, that it was a suicide mission. He was trying to get rid of me because he couldn't just kill me outright. He's either back-talking or maybe he's generally impressed. I don't trust him, but I'm going to pretend to trust him. If he wanted you dead, I'm pretty sure the gigantic monster next to you would have to get the job done nicely. Well, yeah, but the point was he couldn't kill me himself because, you know, politics. Giant monster. It would still be him killing me if he No, he'd just be like, oh, no, giant monster. Oh, no, stop. Oh, what have you done? I told you no. No killing. I guess. What exactly (laughs) do I have to do? There have been whispers. Rumors spreading around the kindred community concerning the Elizabeth Have I heard of it? The cargo ship that was towed into port recently. Have you heard of it? Have I? No. No. Let's be honest. Uh, No, I haven't. What about it? The Dane was found out at sea. The reports say it was without crew, but they have yet to report a yes, fate the of some crew. <laughs> the police are investigating the day as we speak. That. Yeah, I do. Uh, Even the you know, Nosferatu like have little information on what's been found. On However, the reason the ship has caused such speculation is because it was transporting an object called the Ankaran Sarcophagus. You're mysterious. Now, I'm not one to predicate a decision based on conjecture, so what I need is fact. And more importantly, I need evidence that the occurrences on the Dane were not supernatural in nature, and in no way relate to this Ankaran sarcophagus. What do you need me to do? You have three objectives. One, I want you to examine the sarcophagus for anything unusual. You may sense something peculiar about the sarcophagus. In fact, many kindred in the city have reported an uneasiness in the air since the Dane's arrival. Do not, under any circumstances, open the Ankaran sarcophagus. Secondly, the police have begun their investigation. Find out what they have concluded thus far. This is a very by-the-book vampire. Thirdly, take the cargo manifest for the ship. I want to find out what else it was carrying. The last thing we want is police aware of our existence. So be careful what you do in front of them. And unlike the warehouse, you cannot wholesale slaughter a ship full of lawmen without consequences. Me? You think I go around wholesale slaughtering people? Yes, of course it's understood. Good. Oh. And it has come to my attention that you had an encounter with Nines Uh Rodriguez earlier. The man so does love to throw that cretinous charm of his brashly about. He is quite charming. What exactly did Mr. Rodriguez say? How charming could he be? And yet I like him anyway. Uh, Um... Some nonsense about the Anarchs. No, no, so I didn't him, listen carefully. No, no, give, him, give him the, give him the full spiel. No. Sell him out. He hates us. Right? No, I want to play both sides. Okay. Yeah. Something about the Anarchs. Yeah, I didn't really listen if carefully. If I may give you a piece of advice, always listen to others' oh, words Oh, yeah, that's carefully. great advice. Read between yeah, the lines. Sure. Gauge where you stand with them and who they decry or exalt. The more you know about someone... The greater your advantage. I didn't think now of that that's at out all. Of the way, I trust you're prepared to leave for the Dane. I guess this takes priority over our parking garage well, quest. Well, get some, get some, get some answers out of them as long as we all have right. them. Captured. I am, but I have some questions first. I suppose I can spare a few seconds. Oh, how generous of you! Uh, I had some questions about people. Yes. Oh, he is so. Done with me. Okay, yourself. It's common knowledge. I was born in Calais, France, over 200 years ago. Oh, now we're getting into When I graduated from the Royal Military Academy, I joined Napoleon's army. It was shortly after Waterloo when I was embraced by a Belgian noble. From that time onward, I counted some of the greatest kindred in Europe as my mentors and worked towards establishing a Camarilla presence in new territories. In 1930... I came to the Americas and staked power in New York. Soon after, I headed west to claim domain. I wonder if we'll hear, like, a totally alternate history for him from somewhere else. Well, we know what clan he is. I have a question about something else. Which is... Anarchan sarcophagus? All I know about the Ankaran sarcophagus is what I've heard on the news. Ankaran sarcophagus. It was found during an archaeological excavation in Turkey, and it appears ancient. Hmm. There could be nothing you know, but dust inside. Things. 
However, that does not discount the possibility is there of sarcophagus juice some inside? kindred artifact. Mm, slip it for immortality. All of these evidence of the supernatural, and therefore potentially damaging to us. As for it containing an ancient kindred, the Camarilla does not put stock in the actuality of antediluvians. They're myths. You know, Don't vampires had to start somewhere. Um, yeah, I'm just going to listen to you and no one else. Uh, should we ask more questions? Nah, let's not. Uh, let's not waste too much. All right, of I'm ready to go time. to the Dane. Good. I'm counting on an encore exposition of the talent you showed earlier. Go. Maybe and remember, sort of like a temple under of no doom opening up the arcs. Are you thing. to open the Ankaran sarcophagus? Yeah, I'm not going to we'll open it. Later. Good. There's a boat waiting Throughout for you on the entire conversation. Sent for some reason, the only thing I can notice is how much more high res that coffee table is than everything else in the room. <laughs> it's a nice coffee table. I, I guess we're really going nice back table. to Santa Monica too. Okay. He didn't give me a better apartment, which was the whole reason I was excited to come see him. Though I do like these couches. I noticed that there's no doors to anywhere else in here. So is this like right off of the library, or did we just sort of skip where we? Yeah, this doesn't look like elevator doors. Okay. I see. S skip the foyer. Wow, oh. it just... Okay, cool. Shunted us back down here. Perfecto. Well, I guess we're going back to the boat in Santa back Monica. Santa Monica. So much for being done in Santa Monica. We'll never be done with Santa Monica. I wonder if we visit Santa Monica, if there's actually like like a, you know, a burning pallet there that still burns to this day in honor of bloodlines. Okay, so we're we're in downtown. We could do Fat Larry's quest. We could go back to Brother Kanker, or we could go back to Santa Monica. Which one was Fat Larry again? Uh, the briefcase in the parking garage, uh, and then he'd pay us money. I don't think I'm ready to go after Brother Kanker now. No, screw that guy. Let's just go back to Santa Monica. At least we know our way around there. All right, and we'll go to the pawn shop. And apparently the taxis are free. And. You all tell me um, anything I need to know to defeat Brother Kanker. Should I sell my gun? Should I buy a different gun? Should I get more of a certain kind of bullets? And then we'll come back to down, downtown and defeat him. Finish that quest. I have a feeling that most of the comments are just going to be like, get good. <laughs> Fight better. Don't Play die. hard. Play <laughs> Wait, let me see if my apartment changed. It's the same what room. It How could it change? Should I check my email? Yeah, I guess we haven't gone to our haven in a while. Back to where we started. Oh, I'm actually getting pretty good at navigating this place. Good job. It helps when you don't play the game only once a month. Any presents in my mailbox? Aww. It looks like your mailbox said fly bed. Still have the same old crappy apartment. When is LaCroix going to give me the better apartment? Like you've only done one thing for him. Are these all... Wait, why is our name Suckhead? We didn't set up this computer. These are all old. Emails. Yeah, I think these are all... Well, that was a waste of time. To the uh, boat. I can edit that out. We'll just pretend we went straight to the boat. Who's this suckhead? That's stupid. The worst insult I've ever heard. Should I just top off my blood? No, well, I guess these ones are disease, huh? Alright, I am topped off. Oh, oh, Criminal uh -oh. violation. What someone. is that? Did someone see me? Run! No! Ah, run! I'm running! Are you? It's a very slow run. Ah. The sewers or something. Working on it. Go to the beach. They'll never find us there. Uh. <laughs> Add a top off from a bomb. What? I thought the bum by my house was a safe game. Isn't that why he's there? When was the last time we saved? 
We haven't saved. Maybe if, if, you know, if we change zones or something, it's like everything's fine again. Yeah, I don't... Well, yeah, but next time we go back out there... That's okay. How should... much more business could we possibly do in Santa Monica? <sighs> oh, we'll be fine. You're not here to shoot at me, are you? You look familiar. Oh, that, is that Mark? Mark, 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 Mark hey, hey. Oh, hey, what can I say? You preserve my ass. I truly appreciate you not saying anything. And I Wait, you oh, who is shooting at me? Oh, I think the cops followed you. How do, how do I get out of this? <laughs> <laughs> nope, you talking till you die. Oh, you come see me at my apartment. Don't hesitate. <laughs> getting shot is like, hey, stop. Uh, okay, well, this is an embarrassing way to die. Oh, my God. How do sure I get out of this? How do I turn around and Maybe fight the, the cops? Maybe the cops will just sort of, like, give up. Someone needs something, you can get it. It's both, for example. Okay. Um. Oh, uh, by the way, I paid a visit to our friends. <laughs> oh on my God, this there is horrible. Oh, <laughs> this is to go, Especially when you're knee. Well, that's okay. Once you're on the boat, I'm sure the cops will let you go, no problem. Oh my God! Oh my God! Oh my God! Can be a bitch like that. I can't even listen to what he's saying to me. Um. Okay, they deserved it. Goodbye, Mercury. Where is this cop? Where is this cop? Oh, Mercury. Oh, it's this guy. Wait. Wait. Wait, why is Mercurio attacking you? I totally missed it because... Uh... Oh, I said you deserved it. Goodbye, Mercurio. Which oh, means... Did you, oh. I wasn't paying attention to what he was saying because the cops were shooting at me. You know what? Normally we would edit something like this out, but that's, uh, that's too funny. Um, let's go back to our last... Yeah, let's, uh, let's just let's, let's back this up a yeah, little bit. Okay, yeah. okay. How do I get out of here? What's that weird archway? So, okay, let's just go to Santa Monica and, so <laughs> and we'll is, pretend none of this ever happened. This is we just left. I think check your inventory and make sure we have that card. So okay. I think we have just exited the Prince's building. Okay, good. Okay. Okay, so we're going to go hey, back welcome to Santa. Back. Yeah. Mm, okay. Well, nothing's happened. We just exited the Prince's building. Going somewhere. And nothing eventful <laughs> happened at all. <laughs> That's what we get for not saving. Oh boy, there's going to be some outtakes on this one. Ooh. <laughs> Alright, so we are back in Santa Monica. And oh, it's been forever since we've seen this place. Yeah, we're really? going to go to... The beach. The beach. And have a nice conversation with Mercurio. We're not yep, going to top off our blood because no, we No, we're not going to top off it. our blood. And we're we're going to listen really carefully to what he has to say. And we're and not going to tell him he deserves... We're definitely not going to tell him that he deserves to die. Yeah. I'm sure um, this will be a much calmer conversation, too. Yeah. A lot less uh, screaming. Oh, my goodness. Hey, we could have sold Mercurio out oh, to Mercurio, the Prince, there we you're didn't. alive. No, you hey, no, you're always high. You're just there. Hey, what's oh, up? Hi. Just where I expected okay. you to be. Hey, you, hey, what can I say? You preserve my ass. I truly appreciate you not saying anything, and I want you to know I take care of those who do me favors. Yes, yeah, see, we didn't sell him out. He's taking care of us because we didn't favor us. Come see me at my nah. apartment. That has I have much better reaction. Thank you, friend. Ugh. I was such a dick to him. Uh, what are you doing out here, Mercurio? I just wanted to make sure you knew my appreciation. And like I said before, if someone needs something, I can get it. This boat, for example. I might need some equipment for this little oh, trip. Oh, uh, by the way, I paid a visit to our friends on the cliff up there early this morning. ODing's a painful way to go, especially when your kneecaps are on the floor next to you. <laughs> what can I say? Oh. Pay back and be a bitch like that. So the people that we went and stole the explosive from, mm -hmm. uh, he went up and he like uh, killed them. them all. Yeah. Good. So how come if I say they deserved it, goodbye, Mercurio, I he attacks think, me? Uh, I think just whatever happened last time with all the, the guns and the hurting and stuff, I think the game just sort of attributed that to you. Okay. Definitely. What do you got that might help me out? Just ammo. It's for my 38. But I don't even know if I want to keep the 38. Get some shotgun shells. Sure. I'll do some shotgun shells. Yay. There you go. Oh, you had 15 of them. Never mind. Now you have 25. All right. Good thing I'm here. You're not going to knife me this time, are you? No, we never knifed you. What are you talking about? Parallel universe. <laughs> 
So is Ozzy. Let's run and never look back. She's talking to E, but E's like all the way over there. How's she doing? Hi. How you doing, Lily? How'd it go with E? His life's been hard on him. Both of us. But he forgives me. We're leaving soon. I have some family with a place out in the middle of nowhere in Oregon. It should be okay for us to stay out there as long as we're together. Vampires in love. You guys make a great airport paperback. Aww. Should I give her her stuff back? Her stuff? Yeah, I have like a picture of her and maybe her purse maybe. No, yeah, might as well. We're, we're you probably want it. your stuff back then. Here, take it. Thank you. Keep your love alive. Goodbye. Ugh. Run and never All right, let's get on that dinghy. Let's get out of this place. Santa Monica is nothing but trouble. All right, boat. Here we go. I want to get on this boat. I think you have to like. There oh, we never go. mind. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we should talk to Mercury for now. Okay. Nope, you just jump on it. All right. Ooh, is this a stealth mission? Okay. Neat. I like stealth missions. All right, so we are just about to start this Elizabeth Dane mission. I think this is a good place. Uh oh, is the sun rising? Or is that just like no? Nah, it's probably LA an oil lights. fire. Oh uh, yeah, it is LA. So if there's anything we should know before we get going on this, now's your chance to tell us. And you know what? We're not going to get copyright claim this time because we did not go into the asylum. The song that plays in the asylum is what gets us every time. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Next time we go in the asylum, we should just like edit out the music or something. So by the time you hear this, you will be able to respond and we won't have recorded our next installment yet. Back to real time. So uh, we are actually uh, going on vacation. Where are we going, Paul? Going to LA. Yeah, we are. And we're going to be right by Santa Monica and right by downtown LA. And you know, you want to do some... Uh, I kind of want to do some location scouting. For, some Vampire for the Masquerade <laughs> sightseeing while we're out there. Yeah, I kind of do. Yeah. You, you want to you wanna vlog it? I bet it? you there's a website out there somewhere that has like all the equivalencies of all these locations in real life, Santa Monica and LA. Uh, yeah. I no. know it's too bad we haven't made it to the other two parts yet. We can go to Chinatown and wherever else. And we'll Hollywood. Just have to go back to LA again. That is true. And I really don't want to go to Hollywood. Well, I would say Merry Christmas, but by the time you're going to hear this, it's going to be after Christmas anyway. Because Merry Christmas. Even though this video will be ready probably tomorrow if we It'd wanted like it to day. be, we can't release part eight until copyright claims. Yeah. Thank you, YouTube. In the meantime, join my Patreon if you want to see these videos 30 days ahead of time, <laughs> or just ahead of time in general. They're always released privately for patrons first, because really, this is for them. Right. Blah. You do that pretty well. Thank you. Been practicing? No. <laughs>